All right, what's up everybody? Welcome back to yet another YouTube video. Switching it up today and doing something different. I'm actually gonna be pitching you guys the startup that I'm on the verge of launching and the project that I've been pumped up about and uh, been developing and coding with my business partner. He's doing the majority of the technical work. I'm kind of focused on the sales and marketing portion. Um, but without further ado, let's dive right into the pitch deck and leave any comments or questions or concerns you have about the startup or any other ideas or suggestions within the comment section and I'd love to talk more about the startup with you. But this presentation is essentially what I would pitch and show off to anybody who wants to invest or anybody who wants to you know, inject some capital into this company and just help Fit Love explode. So without further ado, guys, let's jump right into it. So first and foremost, we have the opening slide, which is the logo with the weight, the heart in the middle, showing kind of the fitness dating logo imagery. Then we have Fit Love the name and the slogan, Find Your Gym Crush, pretty, pretty self-explanatory. So what is Fit Love? Fit Love is a fitness dating plus friends app for people who like to work out. So kind of the problem that we're addressing here uh, comes from personal experience and a good dating app for fitness enthusiasts doesn't exist and hitting on a girl or a guy at the gym is just awkward. Fitness is also niche and you have to be immersed in that niche culture to understand each other. So here's the app. The wireframe is stunning. It looks amazing. Um, this is already just a great uh, view into a dating app that is designed really well and has amazing tech behind it. Uh, so that alone is fine, but then you have these different workout integrations and fitness features that make it look really cool. So we have all sorts of different things that just make this amazing. One of my favorite parts is where you have kind of the, the pink logos on the bottom, and when you can click on it, it actually heats up and lights up, and it just looks really cool. And there's all sorts of different things that make this the perfect dating app and totally exclusive to people who like to exercise and work out. This, for so many people in the fitness industry, is like a dream dating product. I mean, this is like exactly what you want. So some people have asked me, you know, Tim, how much money even is in this niche? How much money is in a fitness dating and friends app? And there's actually a lot of money and, and I have kind of some stats to back up my logic and reasoning. So 19% of internet users use online dating, 22.9% of US population works out, dating services will be a $12.25 billion industry by 2030, and then fitness as a whole is a $87 billion industry globally. You think about Gymshark, Nike, Under Armour, I mean, there's so many iconic brands that make up this global industry, but there truly is so many different ways you can generate an income for yourself as an entrepreneur within fitness. And I think that there's no better way to do this than create a trendy, cool looking dating product that a lot of people can get behind. So essentially what I'm trying to say is that I think this is a brilliant idea when it comes to really developing something cool and appealing for the gym community. And as you can see, I mean, this really is a really large market. So competition, this is probably my favorite slide. So our, our immediate competitors date fit, but in my opinion, their app sucks and they have a bad reputation, meaning amongst my friends and different people I know who are on dating apps and work out and exercise regularly, when they download this app, they really don't enjoy the tech product and they just refer back to the industry leaders like Tinder and Bumble. But again, those don't really service and accommodate the niche of fitness. They're just good dating apps and they're, they kind of have like a, a a really well-designed algorithm. And there's just like a lot of cool things about it. But again, I, I don't think that a product really meets the need and is kind of like exploding right now for the fitness community. And this is kind of my, my intuitive hunch that there should be a better tech product out there. So here's some of the marketing ideas, SEO, ASO, word of mouth, athletic, athletic event sponsorships, CrossFit Open Boston Marathon, social media ads on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, Strava, Reddit, influencer marketing. There are so many different ways we can spread the word about this product that we wanna sell. Um, kind of the, the, the two avenues that my business partner and I are leaning towards would be a video ad on TikTok, and then also just certain keywords, paid search ads on the app store. So when you search fitness or when you search social networking or dating app, FitLove is the first thing that pops up on the app store or on the Google Play store. So. Those are some different marketing ideas that we have that we're going to experiment with on A-B testing and marketing. And then lastly, we have our revenue model. How does FitLove make money and turn a profit? That is the million dollar question. So 
first and foremost, we want to have a freemium model where we have a free version, but then a more sophisticated and enriched premium version with tiered pricing and certain subscription plans, similar to the other popular dating apps, in-app advertising from supplement brands, apparel companies within fitness. Uh, there's, there's such a good market and opportunity and other people uh, capturing the customers that we have and selling other products to them. Also workout apparel. And then also another one that we're looking into is selling anonymized data from our users to third party vendors. Um, a fitness tech brand that does this is Strava. They basically take anonymous data from their platforms and then they sell it to other vendors within business. This is another way that we wanna generate revenue that we're looking into and we need to do a lot more research about, but that's just another exciting avenue and opportunity for us. All right, so if you guys enjoyed this startup pitch and me taking you through my business presentation, answering some of your questions and kind of bringing you through uh, my pitch, uh, leave comments, questions, concerns, different ideas or suggestions you have for this business. Uh, subscribe for more videos like this. And please like follow the journey of Fit Love. I really wanna offer like an exclusive behind the scenes look at what it's like to create a tech startup for the first time and create a dating app and try to build out our user base and just create like an amazing tech product. I really want to make as much content as possible talking about the journey of this, the challenges and the failures that, you know, we kind of have to experience with, with making a tech startup. Uh, so yeah, so leave comments or other interesting suggestions that you have. And I really appreciate you clicking on today's YouTube video. I know that you could have been doing anything with your life. So I really appreciate it. And um, thank you so much, guys. Have a good day. Peace.